Hey guys, how are you doing? Recently, one of my audience sent this photo of his iPad lock screen saying iPad unavailable, try again after 46 minutes. If you are also experiencing similar problem with your iPad in different conditions, like if you were not using the iPad and you know, all of a sudden, just turning on the iPad after charging it for a few minutes and seeing this iPad unavailable error or you have tried some passwords randomly, you forgot the password totally and you tried it for several times and it ended up with the iPad unavailable after, you know, try again after a few minutes error or if any of your kids tried to access your iPad and they entered the wrong password for more number of times that made the iPad lock screen to say the iPad unavailable error, then the following troubleshooting steps are the only way to fix the problem. It is not possible to enter the iPad home screen so we cannot access the settings or the find my service or iCloud backup in order to fix this because in some online tutorials you may say that go to the iCloud backup option and try to restore it. It is not possible when it says the iPad unavailable on the lock screen as you cannot access the iPad home screen unlock the device. After the waiting period of course you can try guessing the password and you know enter it for a few more times but once it says the iPad disabled then there won't be any additional time available the data everything that you have on your device will be very tough to recover so in this condition if the iPad says unavailable and you are not able to enter the passcode correctly my suggestion is to do the iPad voice restore you can do the restore based on the laptop that you have you know if it is a windows laptop then you can use itunes software or apple devices app from microsoft store you can download it and you can perform the steps that i'm about to suggest next and if you are using macbook or a mac mini or mac computer you can use the finder app to connect your ipad with the mac computer and then open the finder click on the ipad that shows Automatically, it gets detected as an iPad that needs some restore option. Otherwise, we are going to put the iPad in recovery mode. I have a separate video published in our channel, how to put your iPhone or iPad in DFE or recovery mode. I'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment, you can check that video to know how to put the device in recovery mode first. You need to connect the cable with your computer and then open the iTunes or if it is a Mac, you know, open the finder app and wait for the recovery mode to kick in following the video that is provided in the description and in the first pinned comment then it will automatically start to ask you whether you want to restore the ipad to the latest ipad voice version so that is one way and during the process you can either wipe the entire ipad completely all the data inside it if there is no important data available otherwise you can reinstall just the ipad os following the another video guide that i have already published in our channel i leave a link to that also in the second link will be there in the cup into comment and in the description that will help you to perform iOS downgrade or iPad OS downgrade in few minutes without any data loss. In this process, you need to download the IPSW or the iPad OS software, the latest version that is compatible with your iPad from the IPSW.me or any other, you know, trusted website. And then you need to manually push it to the iPad, you know, through the iTunes software or Apple devices application if it is Windows computer. If it is Mac, then you need to use the Finder application to push the install the iPad OS on your iPad. After this, the device will automatically go into the activation lock mode because the Find My service is still on on your device. So in such case, you need to enter your Apple ID and password when you turn on the iPad for the first time after performing the iPad OS restore to access all the content of your iPad. Okay, then the data won't be deleted in the second method that I'm saying right now. The data will not be deleted. You can get access to all the important data that you have and the iPad OS restore will be done and you can set up the device passcode for the first time, you know, afresh during the setup process. So do check the important two video tutorials already provided in the description and in the first pinned comment in order to fix iPad unavailable error on, you know, your iPad. The same tutorial is applicable for all the iPad models, iPad, whether you are using iPad 10th generation, 9th generation or 11th generation, iPad Air and iPad Pro models. The port connectivity is different, you know, some have lightning ports, some have USB-C ports, but once it's connected to the computer, it will be detected automatically as an iPad that requires restore when it is in recovery mode. If you find this video useful, 
do share it with your friends and followers in social media sites thank you so much for watching for more useful iphone ipad and mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day